So we're using three tap shingles. Um, Cause it'll match the other side of the house. Yeah, we know the other shingles, the architectural type shingles are much better and they are stronger and last longer and they're superior in every way. But the shed has three tab, the house has three tab. We wanted to match, we're only doing half the roof. So I went with three tab. We're just gonna go with it. So I'm cutting off the tab. To start the first under row. And these will, yeah, this will act like the first row and then the shingles will go on top of it like that. Yep. I'm Doug. I'm Ashley. And uh, today we're working on our roof, trying to get this house done so we can sell it and move to the country someplace. Um, we've done a lot of work. We haven't been showing everything, but you can see we got the underlayment down. Yep, we used a synthetic underlayment. We've been working on this during the weekend. And right now I got my starter strip going and we're starting to lay some shingles. So it's going pretty well. And there's like no wind, it's so nice out. Yeah, it's kind of evening. We had a day of like no vlogging because we weren't sure what to do. We weren't really doing much. Monday is a tough day because we have more work than usual. We got to get to the post office and do other things. Um, but here we are, we're here and we're working. We decided to go synthetic instead of felt paper because a few, several years back, I was, I was doing a roof with felt paper and the felt paper ripped and it was terrifying uh, when you're sliding on the roof. And um, that was on a two story house. And we just wanted to try something new. We've never used this before, so we wanted to experiment. So we decided to use it and we love it. It's got a really good grip. It doesn't rip yeah. easily. The back of it is kind of like a tarp and the front of it has this non-slip surface and um, it's a lot more water resistant. It lays flat. It was easy to put up. It's lighter than car paper. Um, we just really think it's awesome. So I'm really happy we went with this. Just in case you're wondering why we spent more for the synthetic stuff, we just wanted to try it and we like it. Um, the shingles are going on fine. Doing my best. So uh, we struggled putting it up there because it was like uneven, but we got it figured out. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It covers. It's fine. We got the ice and water shield under this on the edges of the roof in the valleys. We decided to cover the underlayment over the ice and water shield just to be extra safe and also have that non-slip protection um, and uh, keep the water just off everything. So we're going to work on this for a little while longer. Then we might go shopping. I don't know. We'll see. So me and Ash are up here again, and look at this. We got one side done and ready to go. I think it came out pretty good. Yeah. Considering. Um, we got the vent put in, all the pipes glued up, collar put in. We're gonna be working on this side next. And everything is going fine. But right now, it's flower bar time. Yeah, I'm hungry. What do you say? You having a good day? It's nice out, huh? Maverick was playing in the puddles today with Belle. We have the tarp on the yard and uh, it was full of rain, so they were playing with it. it. Did you? Yeah. So last night it rained, so we have all these little puddles on the tarp that are fun to walk and play in. Right, little man? Yeah. Just, liked it. just got up from his nap, so. What do you got? 
So I don't know if we're gonna go back up to the roof after this break because I think we will. We might, but the sun up there is killing us. Um, Maybe we could work on the other side. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll go out. Maybe we'll do something else. We'll see what we want to do. Mm -hmm. We decided to keep taking a break from working on the roof because as you can see that sun is just popping. It's yeah. just coming in hard. That so um, evening sun's hot. Yeah. I just don't feel like getting burnt anymore. We keep getting uh, roasted up there in the roof and we don't want to preserve our... And I don't want skin cancer. Skin. Yeah. So we're going to take a break. There's no big rush. The roof is sealed. That um, It rained last night and we didn't even know it. That um, underlayment that we use, a synthetic underlayment, it doesn't absorb water. It's like plastic and the water just comes right off. It's wonderful. So we have no concern about water. We're just going to do the roof at our own leisure. Um, so we're going to head over to the thrift store to see what we can find. I needed a new cord for something because um, one of my cords got damaged. So um, maybe they'll have that and maybe we'll find some other cool stuff. Lately it's been lousy at the thrift store, so. We used to find awesome stuff every time we went. And then we hit this period recently, in the last year or so, mm -hmm. where there's nothing there but garbage. And every time we go there, like every time, we see aisle after aisle, you see people with their cell phones out looking on eBay pricing everything looking look oh i'm gonna make money i'm gonna and get you rich. see the same people over, over, and over and over and over it's a free country so they can do what they want i guess but it's annoying when you go there and everybody's got their cell phones out on ebay trying to price everything and we can't do that because we don't have cell phones yeah but it just makes it hard because you don't find anything good because they're just snagging yeah. everything up but first come first serve i guess mm -hmm. but we'll see what they have today We're at the intersection here, and this guy behind us couldn't start his vehicle, so Doug's seeing what he needs or whatever. There's an Amish buggy over there. He's just gonna run. He's just. He's gonna run over and get some gas from the gas station. Ran out of gas. Wow. So what are we doing now? Just waiting for him to get back with his gas so his car isn't sitting here alone in traffic. Oh. I was watching that guy's uh, van for him while he went across the street to get gas in a gas can. And um, while he was getting gas, a van, uh, I mean another car pulled up behind him. So I went back to tell her, oh, everything's fine, whatever. And when I walked up, she goes, oh, I just ran out of gas. <laughs> so, <laughs> two people. Two people ran out of gas at the same exact spot. At the same time, basically. Yeah, and then... Um, That's really random. Luckily, he had a gas can with him, so he should be able to get her gas, you know, and they'll figure it out. Um, we just left, because... So weird. <laughs> you know. This is odd that two people pull up behind you run out of gas. I wish there was more to, that I could do to help, but we don't have any gas cans. There's only so much we could do here, so... Um, yeah. It's a good idea to keep a gas can with you, though. Yeah. I guess they were both heading to the gas station when they <laughs> ran out. So. Weird. Yeah. Well, as usual, it's mostly junk. I found a little book that I'm gonna get. Back to basics. Looks interesting. What'd you find? This. Are you doing it? Mm. How about you? We just found some clothes. Oh no. I don't know. Just looking, I guess. Well, we spent entirely too long in the thrift store. It's way actually, too long. We were just trying to like wait for the sun to go down a little bit, but it's actually a lot. Now it's like seven. A lot something. later than we expected. Um, so yeah, we did get a few things. Ashley got some clothes. I got a basic black shirt. I know it's not organic, but it's used, so it's like already made. I don't know. And I got this. Well, I'll show it. You probably don't know it, you probably know it. Yep. What is it? What do you do? 
You have to turn it around and make the ball go to the end. We got Bell the Ball Puzzle Maze, whatever it's called. Um, it's pretty fun, pretty cool. Uh, we don't usually get her too much stuff, so. And I got a cool skirt. New skirt. Just like, a, it's like a linen fabric. Yeah, off-white, really simple. Banana Republic, pretty good brand. Fits me perfectly, I love it. So that's all we have for tonight. We're gonna go home and probably keep working on the roof. Yep. For a couple hours if we can, depending on how everybody's doing. And um, that's it. As you can see, it's pretty dark out now. We're not gonna do any more roof tonight. Um, can't really say anything. I wish we could, because it's so cool at night. It feels so good out. Um, we end up just eating and feeding Maverick and taking care of everything, so. We're gonna catch a live stream, relax for the night, and we'll get to work tomorrow morning. Yep. So until next time, take care.